Hi, my name's Susan Sarandon. Hi, my name is Michelle Obama. Ha, my name's Britney Spears. Kate Moss. I'm Try as she might, Jennifer Lawrence will always be the best at playing herself. And her most recent interview with Vogue is no exception to that fact. But hey, that's why we love her. And this interview is no exception to the fact that Jen is once again keeping it real and opening up about her most life-changing moments. But first, I think it's only necessary to get the real dirt out of the way first. So we all know about Jen's obsession with the Kardashians and reality television, so when Vogue reporter Jonathan Van Meter arrived at Jen's house, as we all sit here like chumps wishing we could score a sweet invite, where all her dreams came true the night of her birthday party as she recalls her friends persuaded Kris Jenner to show up and present Jen with a birthday cake that resembled a uh, pile of poop saying, happy birthday you piece of Jen recalls, my knees buckled, and then I got hammered and talked to her like I think I'm part of the family. But Jen isn't afraid to poke a little fun at her favorite fan. A few weeks later, she sat down with the same reporter just hours after having Dennis work done, where they sat in the backyard of her rented Atlanta home, Novocaine and Deuce and all, when Jen reveals, I feel like Brandy from Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. She got work done and was like, I had an allergic reaction to aspirin, and then replied, did you see that Kim Kardashian got lip injections? She took a selfie and wrote, pregnancy lips. Honey, that's not a thing. But back to the actual life-changing topics where Jen voluntarily brought up her nude photo scandal. The reporter recalled Jen's dog Pippi happily trailing into the room when he asked when she got a dog. Jen recalled that it was the same day as she found about the scandal, saying that her mom was visiting with a new puppy at the time and said, I was outside crying and Pippi jumped up on my lap and started licking up all the tears and I couldn't put her down for hours. And I mean, hours. I was like, well, obviously you're mine. Jen also admitted that she doesn't dwell on the ordeal unless somebody brings it up, but one subject that does get her thinking about her past is her breakup with her boyfriend of five years, Nicholas Holt. She sat down with Diane Sawyer in a tell-all interview and talked about the harsh reality of the end of her relationship at the same time as the end of the Hunger Games series, where she recalls, being 24 was this whole year of, who am I without these movies? Who am I without this man? What's even more shocking is that Jennifer then revealed that she doesn't currently have plans to tie the knot in the future. And whether or not she does get married, anyone that steps into Jen's life should consider themselves lucky at that because this girl truly seems like a blessing. Okay, so I'll cut the cheesiness for now, but I want to know your thoughts on J-Law's interviews and what you thought was the most surprising part of it all. So get to talking right down here in the comments section. And after that, don't forget to click right over here to check out three DIY fruit and vegetable face masks, and be sure to subscribe to Clever Style for even more beauty blunders. Thanks so much for checking in with me here on Clever News. I'm your host, Paulina Surya, and have a great weekend. And then click to the left to check out a few Miley Cyrus style transformations on a brand new dirty laundry. And click to the right to check out a few celeb scandals on Debatable.